tis the season. <laughs> and I'm not talking about the Christmas season. It's just about army worm time. Last year, I know a lot of us just got gut punched with army worms that just decimated our yards, myself included. Now, I think a lot of the reason for my destruction last year is I was busy and just kind of uh, didn't have time for the cultural practices of watering, mowing, and just taking care of my lawn in general. But today, we're going to talk about some things you can do to help keep those army worms from destroying all the hard work you put into your yard so far this season. But first, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you joining me on Budget Lawns. If it's your first time, I hope it's not your last. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, comment down below. All that stuff really helps out the channel. So, we are not, and I repeat, not going to talk about insecticides, pesticides, or anything that you're going to want to spray on your lawn to prevent army worms or to kill them if you already see them invading. Because for folks further down in the south, you might already be seeing some of those. And as you head further north into the latter part of July and August, that's when you really start seeing army worms and their invasion. At first, like me last year, you might think that it is just heat stress. It's been hot, it's been dry, and oh, my lawn is just checking out because of the heat. And then you try to water and you try to do other things and nothing happens and the damage is still there. Well, that might be army worms. So to prevent them or help get rid of them if you think you might have them, let's talk about some ways that don't include product. First, you have to be mowing and watering your lawn on a good schedule. Army worms want a nice hot, dry lawn that is undisturbed to eat in. They don't want to be eating in a lawn that's being mowed all the time or wet from frequent irrigation. So just keep up with your mowing and your watering practices. And guess what? Your yard will not be an ideal yard for them to feed in and they will move on to your neighbors. Keep up with your cultural practices and you'll be a step ahead of the game. Number two, here's an idea. If you see one in your lawn, pick it and kill it. You can walk around your lawn with a bucket of water with a little bit of Dawn dish soap in it Find those things feeding on the surface, toss them in the water, and it'll kill them. You can even pour soapy water into the lawn to help bring them to the surface to see if you have an infestation. It's hard to find these little suckers during the day because they like to feed at night, so you may have to do that at night. But when I had them last year, I could walk across the lawn in the middle of the day and see those things just crawling all over the place, eating and destroying my lawn in no time. Because if they start eating, it doesn't take long at all. So what are you looking for? You're just looking for a caterpillar. You know what a caterpillar is, right? That's what you're looking for, eating your lawn and destroying it. Literally, it will seem like they are destroying it overnight. So walk your lawn. If you see some, pick them up. Don't let them keep doing their thing. Pick them up. Get rid of them. Throw them in a bucket of soapy water and it'll kill those things for you in no time. Okay, so what is an army worm exactly? Well, it's a caterpillar, like I just said, but here's one way you can tell that you might be just about hit with an infestation. This is another way you can help prevent them from taking over your lawn. Look for army worm eggs. You can look under leaves on trees. They can be in the grass blades themselves. But where I always have seen to find mine and have been finding them around my house right now is up under my awning on my back patio. If you've got sunshades like I did at my last house, you could find them there on your canvas grill cover. I find them there all the time as well. But start being able to identify army worm eggs. They might even be on your window screens outside on your windows. So I will kind of walk around, check and see if I see you know, any army worm eggs in these spots. And then I just wipe them off with a paper towel. Wipe them off with anything. Take your hands, get them in your hands, squish the eggs, whatever you got to do to remove those eggs so that you can prevent them from becoming worms. 
Okay, I, I kind of think I know the life cycle of an army worm. I don't want to get into like the science or whatever you would call that, but it's like, I think it's a moth in your yard, lays eggs, those eggs become army worms, those army worms become but butterflies. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but if you can eliminate those eggs and keep them from becoming army worms, you will save yourself a lot of damage in the short run. I don't say long run, in the short run, okay? And here's one last little tip that might help you prevent army worms from taking over your yard. Entice other animals to hang out around your lawn that eat the dang things. They're a prey to something. How about birds, crows? I always have birds in my lawn. I've tried to get out and take videos of these suckers. They're out eating in my yard all the time and every time I open up the back door, they fly off. So I was able to catch one, a big black bird or a crow through the window shade, showing you that they're out in my lawn eating and they like to eat army worms. So keep birds around. Maybe you wanna keep some bird feeders or bird baths, something to make your house a desirable place for them to hang out. Then you end up getting army worms in your yard. Guess what? They're down there eating those suckers. And you know what else eats army worms? And this one you might not want to keep around, but hey, if you're not out in the yard, all the time or don't have kids, you may say, hey, the heck with it. I'll let these guys hang out. Wasps, they like to eat army worms as well. I've had wasp nests that I found in my fence too, just in the last couple weeks. And unfortunately, even though I would love to keep them around, I had to kill them. I had to just kill all the wasps in the nests because I've got kids that play in the backyard, not to mention I got stung twice while I was mowing the yard. Not on the same day, but twice over like the course of a few days. And that was enough for me to say, all right, these wasp nests, they're going. I don't want them stinging my wife or kids. But I was tempted to leave them around because wasps and birds will eat army worms. So there's another way to rid your yard of them naturally without having to spray some insecticide or pesticide all over your lawn. Okay, so there's a few ways for you. Keep mowing and watering regularly. If you see one, pick it. Look for the eggs and eliminate those before they turn into army worms. And finally, entice other animals to stick around, whether it be birds or wasps that like to eat those things. And guess what? Just by practicing those simple things naturally, you can keep your yard from getting infested and destroyed by army worms. Now, let's say you do all the right things and it still just gets decimated. Guess what? Don't worry, your yard is not dead. Okay. Let me backtrack. For some of you cool season folks, tall fescue, uh, Kentucky bluegrass, not going to be the same story. If it does recover, it will be a very long time. Cool season lawns, typically, you're in big trouble. Warm season folks like St. Augustine, Bermuda, you will recover. It will look like garbage for a little time, but just keep practicing your cultural practices and the thing will bounce back. Good news is for zoysia folks, it's typically, uh, I don't even think it is, a lawn that's desired by army worms, so you're pretty much in the clear, but Bermuda and St. Augustine, you will recover. Just get back to mowing, get back to watering, do the things you're supposed to do for a healthy lawn and things will back, bounce back. Now the bad news is sometimes these army worms can live in like a couple generations. So you get through one cycle and you think you're in the clear and then perhaps another cycle will come back. It's just tough to say, but when the cold weather hits, that's when you're finally in the clear and you just hope it doesn't happen again next season. Okay, y'all, that's it. Fingers crossed none of us just get destroyed by army worms like we did last year. So far, I've seen the eggs, but no signs of damage. We'll keep looking out. If things look dry, it's tough to tell. You just kind of got to play the waiting game at this point. But I hope this helps you think about some ways to keep them away without going to the store and having to buy a project, product to do so. All right, y'all, we're going to wrap it up right there. I appreciate you joining me as always, and we will see you next time.